It's the largest survey in history on anti-Semitism, and the results are not good. The European Union Agency for Fundamental Rights questioned over 16,000 Jews from 12 EU member states. What they found was shocking. 89% of Jews surveyed said that anti-Semitism in the EU had risen significantly in the past five years. 85% said anti-Semitism and racism was their top concern. 28% experienced physical harassment in the last year. And 38% said they have considered emigrating in recent years. With European Jews feeling increasingly threatened, we took to the streets of Israel to see how people here feel about those findings. I don't think there, there might be a good future for Jewish in Europe. Uh, their home is here in Israel. If you ask me, have I ever um, experienced anti-Semitism, my answer would be yes. But how often does it happen? Not that often, actually. You know, I think it's uh, the fear that most people have is the fear of um, running into the extremists. Common anti-Semitic themes encountered by participants included Jews have too much power and influence, Jews exploit the Holocaust for their own interests, and Israel treats the Palestinians like the Nazis treated the Jews. Alongside those tropes which have existed for years is a new worrying trend, anti-Semitic games. In this video game, The Cost of Freedom, players can play Nazi guards in Auschwitz and send Jews to gas chambers or execute them in mass graves. This game, I can't believe it's real. It's like history is repeating itself. It's very scary, but this is the reality. Unfortunately, I don't think anything can be done about it. In this secret Hitler card game, the fascist team have to identify who is Hitler and make him chancellor, while the liberal team have to stop them. EU officials are also worried by the findings and have vowed to take action. But it remains to be seen if they have the ability to do anything about it. Alec Pollard, I-24 News.